Imagine holding an ordinary pebble in your hand. It looks dull, cloudy, nothing special. You're seconds away from tossing it back into the river when the light hits it just right. And in that moment, you realize this isn't just another stone. It's a diamond, a fortune, disguised as nothing more than gravel beneath your feet. The truth is, most people walk past them. They step over them, splash through streams, kick them down riverbeds, never realizing what they've left behind. But there's a secret trick, a method anyone can learn, that reveals where these hidden treasures rest. A trick built not on luck, but on patience, awareness, and nature's own sorting system. Because rivers are not just water. They are hunters, movers, and collectors. They grind mountains to sand and carry the heaviest materials, gold, gemstones, and yes, diamonds, down their course. And when the water slows, the treasure sinks. This is where the trick begins, at the river bend. On the inside curve, the current weakens. Heavy stones settle into the gravel, building layers of secrets beneath the surface. Prospectors know this. They don't rush past a bend. They stop, they sift, they search. Because here, where the water hesitates, nature reveals what it has carried for centuries. But recognizing a diamond is not as simple as spotting sparkle. In the wild, they rarely shine like jewelry. Instead, they look stubborn, greasy, cloudy, sometimes with sharp edges that resist the smoothing touch of water. To most eyes, they appear worthless. To those who know, they're unmistakable. Here's how the trick works. Scoop a handful of gravel from a quiet bend. Wash it gently in a pan or even in your palm. Watch as the lighter stones wash away. What remains is heavier. Black sand, metallic grains, and sometimes something different. A stone that feels heavier than it looks. A stone that flashes not with rainbow colors, but with a cold, piercing light. That's when you pause. That's when the heartbeat quickens. Because this isn't about chasing glitter. It's about noticing the ordinary stone that refuses to act ordinary. The one with weight, edges, and a light too sharp to ignore. That's the diamond. And it doesn't end with rivers. The same secret applies wherever nature slows its hand. After heavy rains, gullies cut into the earth, washing away soil and exposing what was once hidden. Under boulders, where water loses speed, stones settle in pockets. Even along dry creek beds, relics of ancient rivers, the trick still works. Diamonds wait where water once flowed. But here's the suspenseful truth. For every diamond discovered, countless others are walked past. They lie inches away from boot prints, buried in sand children play in, glinting in places no one bothers to check. The earth doesn't hide them cruelly, it hides them plainly. The challenge is not luck, it's attention. And once you've seen it, once you've recognized how nature sorts her treasures, you'll never look at a river bend the same way again, because now you know her trick. And now every trail, every stream, every gravel bar becomes a chance to uncover the extraordinary. You now know the secret of the river bend, the inside curve, the place where heavy stones settle when the current slows. But here's the truth. Nature doesn't hide her diamonds in only one place. The trick works anywhere her forces pause, anywhere water loses strength, anywhere time reveals what it has quietly buried. Think about what happens after a storm. Rain pours down hillsides, cutting gullies into the earth, tearing away layers of soil that have covered treasures for decades, even centuries. For a brief moment after the flood, nature's vault is left unlocked. Stones roll free, heavy ones lodging at the bottom of washes and crevices. If you know where to look the morning after a storm, you may be the first to see what has been hidden for years. That's why seasoned diamond hunters return again and again to the same ground. One day a patch of gravel looks ordinary. After rain, it tells a different story. The land shifts, the surface refreshes. A stone once buried finds its way to the light, waiting for someone who understands the trick. And it's not just storms. Think of dry riverbeds. Ghost channels carved by water long gone. Centuries ago, they carried the same currents, the same heavy loads. When they dried, they left their treasures behind, locked in the gravel. 
To the untrained eye, these are just stretches of rock and sand. But to those who know, they are time capsules of forgotten rivers, still holding the same promise. Then there are the places where water collides with obstacles. The roots of trees gripping the bank, cracks in bedrock, the hollow beneath a boulder. Every obstruction slows the flow just enough for heavy stones to sink and rest. Diamonds are stubborn travelers. They won't float away. They stay, lodged where the current had no power to carry them further. Here is where patience matters most. The prospector kneels, sifts, washes, and waits. Dozens, hundreds, even thousands of stones slip through the hands. But all it takes is one. One stubborn pebble, one quiet flash of metallic light, one weight that doesn't match its size. That's the moment that makes all the hours worth it. And here's what separates the finder from the passerby. Attention to the ordinary. Because in the wild, a diamond doesn't scream for recognition. It doesn't sparkle like glass or glow like quartz. It looks plain, greasy, dull, almost disappointing. But that's the disguise. And once you've learned to recognize it, you'll never mistake it again. The trick isn't just about spotting the unusual. It's about questioning what looks too ordinary. Why does this pebble feel heavier? Why does it cut light in a sharp, colorless flash instead of scattering rainbows? Why does it resist scratching when every other stone breaks or crumbles? Those little questions, asked again and again, lead to the extraordinary. And maybe the most suspenseful truth of all is this. You've already walked past them. Somewhere in your life, on a hike, by a stream, after a storm, you've seen one and dismissed it, tossed it, left it where it was, because you didn't know the trick, because no one told you what to notice. But now you know, and knowledge changes everything. Next time you walk a river bend, you won't rush past. Next time you see black sand pooling on the inside curve of a stream, you'll stop. Next time you pass a dry creek, a gully, or a gravel bar, you'll bend down, scoop a handful, and look closer. Because now every patch of earth has a secret, and every handful of stones could be the one that changes your story forever. Stop, don't walk past, don't miss it. Diamonds don't announce themselves. They wait for the eye that understands the trick, and now, that eye belongs to you. And if you've enjoyed uncovering these secrets of nature's hidden treasures, make sure you subscribe to ProGems. This is where rare discoveries, powerful secrets, and untold stories of gemstones come to life. Don't miss the next adventure. Join us and together, we'll keep searching for the extraordinary, hidden in plain sight.